Hi, I'm Dr. Pamela Morris. I'm here at the Regional Cardiometabolic Health Congress in Atlanta, Georgia. I was giving a lecture today on a very important topic called familial hypercholesterolemia. This is a disease that for many years has been underdiagnosed and undertreated. It is associated with very high levels of LDL cholesterol and a strong increased risk of premature cardiovascular disease. Now previously this was diagnosed genetically and unfortunately in the United States that type of testing is not widely available. So one of the things we reviewed today are what are the clinical diagnostic criteria that may be used when you suspect a patient with FH. So of course that would be levels of LDL cholesterol, begin to think about possible heterozygous FH when the LDL cholesterol levels are greater than 190 milligrams per deciliter. These patients um, will also on occasion have physical findings such as an arcus before the age of 45, tendon xanthomas, or perhaps xanthelasma around the eyes. And of course, it will be very important to screen first degree relatives. This is an inherited genetic disorder. They received it from a first degree relative, so very important to do cascade screening. The final topic that we discussed today was treatment of LDL cholesterol uh, in familial hypercholesterolemia. Of course, statin therapy will always be the foundation, and these patients are definitely going to need moderate to high intensity statin. But this is usually insufficient for these very high risk patients who may have absent LDL receptors. We oftentimes will need to add a bile acid sequestrant or a zetamibe, possibly high dose niacin in LDL lowering doses. For the highest risk patients, we like to consider LDL apheresis, but this is not widely available across the nation. We do have two novel therapies, uh, which have been recently approved for homozygous FH, including lamidipide and mipomersin, which can be very uh, helpful in additional LDL lowering for FH patients. And finally, everyone is very excited about the possible uh, approval of the PCSK9 inhibitors, which have been shown to be of some benefit in patients with homozygous uh, FH. So in summary, I think it's important to recognize that this is a, an underdiagnosed, underrecognized, and undertreated disease. If you see a patient in your clinic with uh, high levels of LDL cholesterol, and premature cardiovascular disease or a family history of high cholesterol and premature cardiovascular disease, I urge you to think about the possibility that this patient may have heterozygous or homozygous FH. Thank you.